Monday Motivation. How many of you guys love to bake? I don't love to bake because I'm not very good at it because it requires two things. One, precision, and the other is patience. And I don't have either of those qualities. <laughs> so I tried to bake a cake once and it failed miserably. I know why it did fail, I know the answer. Why? Because you rushed it. I rushed it. How many of you guys have ever tried to bake something and then you rush it? With a cake, you know, you open the oven. First of all, you're supposed to keep the oven shut because you're supposed to keep the temperature, the temperature in there for the whole time that it's supposed to bake. And I, I don't do that. I like open it up every five seconds because I like to smell it and I like to see if it's done yet. Anybody else out there, thumbs up, like it, if you are the same way. So then I open up the oven and I'm trying to rush it, trying to hurry it up. And then I made the oven even hotter, which was a terrible idea because then I burnt the edges. Not and, good at all. No, it was bad. And then the inside was still like mushy, Soupy. liquidy, you know, Soupy. like jiggly, like jello. It's just <laughs> never a good idea to have a cake that still looks like jello. Anyway, there is a purpose for all of this and Vince is gonna tell you why. <laughs> Of course, the analogy is obvious. Much of the work we do as creators, as leaders, as people seeking to make change, we need to let the cake bake to create character, to create tension, to create an impact. And if we rush it, we get nothing worth very much. How many of you guys have ever tried to rush yourself, rush the process of your life? I know I always feel like I should be further along, like I should be here instead of where I am. I should be doing something better, doing something greater. I should be whatever it is. And I try to rush the process and try to just hurry it up. But that's just a bad idea because if you try to rush yourself, if you try to put yourself in situations that you don't belong in yet, your character is not gonna be able to right. withhold or withstand what you're doing. Exactly. So let the process happen, love, the process, learn to love the journey. the journey and to bake. It's a good yeah. idea to just calm down and enjoy the ride. Now there is a flip side to this. Sometimes we mistakenly believe that we're building something that takes time, but what we're actually doing is just hiding. We stall and we digress and we cause distractions, not because work needs done, but because we're afraid to get started. Um, I've been there too. <laughs> All of these things that we talk to you about, you guys, are places I've been, places we have been, things that we struggle with. And we are not saying this to you because we are so much better than you. We're saying this because we are learning right along with you that we have done things and failed. And this is one of my biggest things that I've dealt with is failure. I sometimes make processes take so much longer because I am scared to death of failing. That's one of my biggest fears and it stems from insecurity inside of me, but we're getting over this. I'm dealing with it and I'm figuring this out. And so do not let fear hold you back from the things that you know you're supposed to do. Get on the ball keep moving move forward don't be afraid because what's the worst that could happen this is what i have to ask myself all the time all right biggest fear failure what if i fail what if this totally blows up in my face and i it's a big failure what's the worst that can happen Nothing. i fail <laughs> I fail and then I learn something right. like not to do and that I, again. And I tell you what, you learn a lot more from your failures and the things that go wrong than a lot of the times when you do from your successes. I've learned so much more from failing or from people who I believe kind of are failing and I'm learning from their mistakes or my own than I have through all my success or through success.
I've never seen him fail in my entire life, so <laughs> <laughs> this is just my weaknesses, not his. So the bottom line, impatience, have you ever heard the term patience is a virtue? Well, impatience can be a virtue if, and this is a big if, if it's causing you to get past all the fear. Don't be patient, be impatient if you feel like you're stuck behind fear. Then don't be patient. So I wanna encourage you guys, just like I'm encouraging myself because I have something on my list of things that I need to do right now to get started and that I've been letting fear hold me back. So for you, what is it that you've been afraid of? What has fear been holding you back from? And what step are you gonna take do yesterday? It. Do it. Not today, not tomorrow. What are you gonna do right now? to get over Do that it. fear, to push through, and to be the successful person that you wanna be. Or, if you're also like me and are impatient. <laughs> <laughs> Always enjoy the process, because I tell you what, whenever we go on trips and whenever we go on vacation, I love getting there. I love getting on the plane, I love the flight, I love the layover, I love the eating at the different restaurants in a layover city. I love the trip or the process getting the vacation as much as I like the destination. In fact, I might like it more. I don't know. Yeah. I'm weird. Here's the key with life too. You're never going to arrive. True. Never. You may arrive to a goal, but the goal is to always keep making more goals and yeah. getting better and better and better. So trust the process and slow down and trust yourself. and the people around you who give you good feedback, who love you and trust them. Yeah. Just good. do it. Just be you. Nike, just do it. <laughs> we love you guys. Thanks for watching us yet again for another Monday Motivation. Have a great week. We love you. Like, subscribe, and comment below. We want to hear your stories. Please. We want to know if you rush or if you let fear get in the way. Let's learn from each other. We wanna learn from our successes and from our failures. Tell us your stories because we wanna learn from you. Everybody needs to learn from each other. So let's talk about this together. See you Friday for your Flex Friday and maybe a video in between because I got a lot of stuff to edit and I'm excited about editing more. Anyway, see you Friday or Wednesday or somewhere in between. Enjoy your week. Monday motivation. <laughs>